These chillers are down again. They called in just a little bit ago. The reminder, this is the one that's online. That's the one that's down. We condemned those relays on this a while back. They've not approved the repairs. What they've elected to do is just literally keep resetting the unit themselves. It trips every couple of days on safeties, you know, for the high pressure, which again, the, the problem is there's relays. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link a uh, video up in the corner that the, the first call I had out here a while back. So since we're about to change these out anyway, they are not wanting to replace them. Now you can see circuit A is off. Now what the hell, what he was saying was and you kept resetting the breaker and resetting the unit. They <laughs> said, but by the time we walked out of the yard, the chiller yard, uh, you, you, you hear just a loud bang and uh, circuit A would trip back out. The main thing I'm looking for at the moment, making sure that nothing obvious happened. We didn't have a fan to like cave in. So I've had that happen before. Actually, I had that happen on those two, both actually. Uh, each of those have had fans literally fall right through the deck and tear the coils up and I had to go in and patch and fix the coils. That far one, I had to do a complete lower slab on the B circuit side because of uh, that fan falling through anyway. So I don't see anything obvious. So let's go back down. Two contactors here are our a circuit fans start testing these and find out which ones are blown which ones are good see if I can identify which one's shorting so I was just checking the footage I had my camera mounted up there and it is it's pretty terrible I don't know if I'm gonna use it but in case I don't what it led that down to was uh, motor 11 this is the one that's failed and needs to be replaced it is shorted to ground I've removed it from the circuit, got everything else back on uh, connected. I did verify all the coloring was good. We can turn this back on. You already hear those fans come on. Let's go verify rotation. So the way these fans are numbered is one, three, uh, five, seven, nine, eleven. So that's exactly the one I expected to be down. And they're all turning the right direction. They're probably going to want us to pull one of the motors off of this chiller. So I did this motor here about two and a half years ago. That one's been about three years ago. We're talking to them about pulling this motor, switching it over there, replacing it. They're so close to getting those new chillers in. It's just they're wanting to spend literally nothing to do anything for these. They don't absolutely have to. So we'll, we'll work with them and get it figured out. But there'll be one fan down until they decide to do something and, and they got to decide do they want to just buy a new motor or do they want to go ahead and use that one or maybe they just see if they can limp along and make it run with just one fan down. If they can, they may not do anything at all. But as part of the service industry is we make our recommendation and we tell them what we think they ought to do and then it's up to them to decide how to spend their money. It has been a couple of days and they, the customer did sign off on doing the fan motor swap. So uh, I'm going to pull this motor here that you're sitting on. We're going to move it over to the chiller 2, get it installed. That'll get that other fan back online. And uh, yeah, that'll, that'll squeeze them by until their other chillers come in and we can get these switched out. In case you're wondering, this chiller has been completely decommissioned. Got the fan installed. We'll go down, we'll hook it up, we'll verify rotation, everything's good. Once we do that, then we'll put the shroud back on. We're only running two stages right now, so that's good. Not a heavy load. Good time to do it. Kill it there. Kill it there. And we'll match these back up. 
see, I did wire it. Pink was was uh, line one, purple two, and uh, gray was uh, three at the motor. But these should go back the way they were here originally. They were all colored together. Nice. So we'll do to verify rotation. We got it plugged in. Turn the breaker on. We'll come up here part ways. See the fan. And I manually bump it. And that does look correct. The chiller is back online. We got our fan pulled in. It's running. Everything sounds great. Looks great. All the circuits are starting to come up. We got one compressor each side. We were only running two compressors before I shut it down. It was maybe 10 minutes ago. So we'll probably bring in maybe one or two extra for a few minutes to kind of catch it up. It won't be much. Anyway, that's going to conclude this call. It's done. We got it fixed. Again, I'm, this is not my ideal scenario, but, you know, sometimes you just got to take care of the customer. This is one of those situations. They need it out of a bind. This is their situation. They are about to replace them, you know. We got them taken care of, end of the day. MTT, make sure you're taking care of your family. Make sure you're making the time for your spouse, for your kids. You just, you're always gonna have to make it. In addition to that, if you wanna support the channel, I got links in the description on how you can do so. Everything that y'all contribute goes right back into my ability to, you know, produce and make this better and, and anything I can do to improve the quality of what it is I'm, I'm trying to give to you guys. Feel free to reach out to my Gmail at HVACTIMETX at, e at gmail.com. Link is also in the description for that email as well. And uh, I also have a merch store available, and uh, that's, that is live. I got a question this, uh, this week, actually, about a specific color in one of my shirts. I have no problem updating the store to uh, fit whatever color schemes, or if you have a special request item you'd like, uh, just let me know, and I can go in and see if I can create that within the store. What I have created was just kind of a, a general uh, store that I thought was a good kind of launching point, but once I, as I get your feedback and what y'all would like and what you're looking for, I can update it and create and do whatever I need to in there. There's a lot of products that I'm not using just because I don't, uh, I, I don't know exactly what y'all are looking for on a general basis. So feel free to give me any uh, requests on that as well. I'll see if I can get that put in there. Otherwise, until then, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Remember, MTT.